Pandel wants Ohio's Trump base to know his disgust for President Biden and left-wing Democrats extends to some in his own party. I'll take on these squishy establishment rhino Republicans and I'll be the worst nightmare of the never Trumpers in Washington. Mandel's a forever Trumper, if you will, describing himself as the most conservative pro-Trump Republican in the race. Here he is with a round table of pastors at Life Change Church in Milford. I'm not going there to make friends. I'm not going there to get invited to the cocktail parties. I'm going there to stand up for the Constitution and the Bible. That's it. Mandel is not running his campaign through the usual party events, but through churches. You won't find separation of church and state on his list of beliefs. I believe in my heart, in my head, in my gut, that if we're going to save this country, it's not going to be done in political offices. It's going to be done in houses of worship and at kitchen tables and in barns throughout this country. I'm doing well, Bill. Thanks for having me on. In radio interviews, Mandel COVID claims America's not only lost control of the border, but energy independence as well. As a citizen, as a taxpayer, as a father, as a Marine Corps vet, it is scary to have a commander in chief who is so lost in that office. Of all the Senate candidates, he's the only one elected to a statewide office. Any hostility directed his way becomes a badge of honor. And whether I'm pissing off Democrats, Republicans, media, I don't care. I'm going to go there to stand up for the Constitution, for biblical values, and for the Trump America First agenda. Mandel views media as being infatuated with words, saying he's infatuated with action, and that once in Washington, he's going to be a wrecking ball to the political establishment. John London, WWT News 5.